Hey, BART is soon going to hire more police officers to try to keep riders safe as the agency is trying to get more passengers to come back. Yeah, trying to convince them it's safe to ride BART. Uh, the board approved a pay increase for officers as well. Crown Force Will Tran following the story for us live from Walnut Creek. Good morning, Will. Good morning, James. Despite Facing a $93 million budget deficit, BART is going to increase the salaries of the police officers patrolling the stations from $55 an hour to $67 an hour, and that begins on July 1st. It's like that ad, you might say, customers, you've spoken to us and we are hearing you, so BART is going to stock at least 50% of its staff that's working any particular time with officers, 50% must ride the BART trains. This will increase, as far as the budget, guys, about $8.4 million. So it's actually going backwards. But BART says they need to be competitive with other local police departments because they can't hire new recruits to come to BART, which is why they need this increase, not to mention to retain their particular police officers on staff already. They are looking to hire at least 28 new police officers, and they hope this will sweeten the pot. As far as what's going on with BART, ridership is down, and the customers have said in their surveys the reason why, or one of the reasons why, because of their fear when hopping on BART. This was voted unanimously by the BART Board of directors. Here's the good news though. We did this story a couple of weeks ago as far as the BART rate increases, which will be spread out over the next two years, 5.5% starting in January of next year and another 5.5% the following year. This it appears, even though they are getting an increase, it will not raise your rates, at least not in the immediate future. But as I mentioned, they are already facing a $93 million budget def deficit in 2025. More than likely, this will probably be tacked on sometime down the road. Back to you. All right. Thanks a lot, Will.